Hi everyone and welcome to the all new Nissan Z Proto that was just launched in Japan only a couple of days ago. And all I can say is, wow. As you already know, we've had a number of teaser clips released by Nissan over the past few months. And from those clips, you could just make out the silhouette of the car. But to be honest, I think the result is quite good. But before we go into the looks, let's get some technical aspects out of the way, shall we? This car has been designed to compete with the likes of the Toyota Supra, which, while technically is a BMW, is quite a big ask. Okay, so first of all, we still don't know if the new Z is in fact going to remain as the Nissan Z Proto, or will in fact be called the Nissan 400Z. What we do know is that it will be equipped with a V6 twin turbo engine, but will it be a 4 litre like many have predicted? Well, we'll just have to wait and find that one out. The weight of the car has yet to be announced at this point and will remain an interesting topic because the 370Z was a bit of a lump in the weight department, which did compromise on performance. So hopefully they've shaved off some kilos to really spice up the power to weight ratio. But on the other hand, it is going to come in the traditional six-speed manual format, which I am super happy about. There's just something about driving a traditional manual that makes you feel more connected. Okay, now let's get back to the looks of the car, shall we? Okay, so the first thing I noticed and loved was the front grille. No, I'm only joking actually. No, I have to say that that was not a favourite point of mine and I had wished for more than just a rectangular grille. Compared to the rest of the car, it strikes me as a bit boring. Yet it does tie in with the traditional Z styling though, especially from the past few models. But at this point, that's where my complaints stop and we get onto the good bits. The bonnet, or hood of the car, has a very aggressive dip in the front angle, which I quite like. The roofline is highlighted by the dark paintwork that is offset against the bright yellow retro paint and is reminiscent of the 370Z. The front is a modern take on the 240Z, while the rear pays homage to the 300ZX with its modern take on the rear lights. And you know what? I think it looks quite good. The interior has had a full overhaul, and as we know, it is well overdue. And it looks like Nissan have provided us with a driver's delight. Digital instruments, large infotainment display, traditional three gauge cluster on the top of the central dash looking directly at the driver, and bathed in what looks like an Alcantara trim. And thank you Nissan for a much beefier looking steering wheel, because quite frankly, the one in the 370 yeah, it was not that great. Nissan have also confirmed that this car will go into production, but is still being finalised. At this stage, the new Z is set to be released for an either 2022 or 2023 release, but that is yet to be confirmed as well. All we know is that we now have an amazing and accurate platform of what to expect from the new Z. And so far, it's looking quite good. What will be interesting is what tweaks are made to the car between now and production. And the big question, how it drives. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button if you've enjoyed this preview of the new Z. Look forward to showing you the full review when the Z hits our shores in the future.